Alright, and here's the patch piece. Uh, it's just, you know, as you can see, it's just sitting on the hood. And uh, I'm about to mark it uh, to cut out the original and uh, start getting this one fitted in place. And basically what I'm doing is I'm lining up these ridges right here and right here. Uh, and when you mark it, you gotta remember, you know, where you're cutting. So, on the sides, it's okay to cut on the line or maybe inside the line. But on this lower one, you might want to cut almost certainly on the line, if not a little, just a little past it. Because you gotta remember, it's sitting up on top. So, you gotta account for that drop when you cut this original piece out. You need to account for that drop in your cut down here. Now, don't cut too much. Uh, I would say cut on the line and then you can just fine tune it with the grinder uh, to get it uh, sitting in there like it should be. So, uh, I'll make my marks and uh, get cutting on this uh, old hood and we'll uh, get this rust crap cut out of there. Here's the inside of the piece after I worked on a little bit with the wire brush and the uh, uh, little uh, air grinder and uh, it's not that great but uh, you know I don't really have a whole lot of options as far as I know they don't make patch panels for the front of the hoods you just gotta get a new hood so I'm just gonna go with this piece I'll spray some uh, paint on the back side and uh, hope everything's good so I've made the cuts here on my uh, old hood and I got the rusty part uh, uh, at least cut and I did drill out the spot welds I just want to make a few points here there is inner structure behind this skin and all you want to get off is the skin so don't cut too deep uh, especially here which is the bottom of the hood the lip or here on the front there's some structure back there you probably saw it in the vi in the video of the uh, other blue hood I've got it leaned up against the fence out of the light so I really can't shoot it so just you know on your old hood the one you're gonna throw away just go nuts and just cut uh, it's really not gonna hurt anything especially if you're like me you're gonna sell it for scrap uh, but on the good hood just cut out the skin try not to get too deep in there and uh, cut out the inner structure so just a little tip there so I got that old nasty piece cut out and you can see what's here on the inside there's some pretty nasty stuff in here uh, fortunately this inner structure is sound uh, it's in good shape but this is all wet rusty crap so uh, I'm gonna have to clean that up and uh, put some paint on that as well and I'll show you the we'll come in here and I'll show you the piece that I cut there it is pretty nasty in there there's the one little uh, pokey through hole actually there's two there's one there and uh, here's the the, uh, the piece that's going to go in it was not a whole lot better I put some paint on it you can see it's starting to dry there uh, over here uh, not completely dry yet but uh, kind of rolling the dice hopefully this will hold up at least for the time that I'm going to own the truck uh, but it is it's definitely better than this one but you know not by a big margin so I'll get back on this I'll come in here and I'll clean all this up and get a little coat of paint on it and uh, get that patch panel uh, ready to be welded in okay so I got this whole area prepped I even got the uh, come over here got the patch panel prepped got everything ground smooth around the edge no paint even here on the bottom for uh, the plug welds and unfortunately I did find one rust hole on the inner structure uh, well, there's kind of two there a uh, bit of a bummer but like I've said several times in my videos I'm not trying to build a show truck so it sucks but I'm gonna roll with it especially considering how much work I've put into this hood getting it straight and everything like that so I'm gonna do a summary uh, when I get all this work finished and kind of let y'all know uh, you know what I've learned uh, along the way uh, getting this hood repaired so uh, this is ready to go 
I'll get this piece tacked in and then uh, shoot another video. So I said I was just going to tack weld it in place, but got a little ahead of myself and I just went ahead and welded it in. Over here, it's kind of cruddy because uh, on the original hood uh, metal, uh, I was chasing a rust hole that developed right in there, so it was, it was just blowing out behind me. Uh, everywhere else uh, did pretty okay, so uh, we did have a bit of a rust issue right in this area, so, uh, but hopefully it'll hold up. Like I said, uh, hopefully it won't rust through uh, during the time that I own this truck, so, uh, but I'm finished for the night, uh, I'm getting kind of hungry, I want some dinner, and uh, the next step would be to grind that all smooth and uh, I don't want to irritate my neighbors, so I'll save that for tomorrow and uh, do some more filming then. Uh, and I'll show you some of the stuff I did on the driver's side to get that straightened out. It was really almost identical to what I did over there, but I'll get some video of it. So anyway, I'll uh, see you guys tomorrow. Okay, so we're back out here in the morning, and I uh, just wanted to show you all some of the progress that I made. I wasn't able to film last night. Uh, it was just too dark, not enough light on this area. But I got the hood brace uh, welded into place. I got the driver's side of the hood straightened out. And I uh, got a little bit of grinding to do right here in this crack. Uh, but other than that, this side's finished. And uh, also, you know, I was working on making this patch panel last night. And so all I got to, sorry, I was, <laughs> Hallie. <laughs> camera's making a shadow and she's barking at it. Or it's making a little tink and she's barking at it. Anyway, so all I gotta do is grind that smooth and uh, then it's ready for body work. <coughs> so I'll get cracking on that and uh, get that ground smooth and hopefully my dog won't be barking at me. All right, and as you can see, uh, I got that all the welds uh, ground smooth and uh, everything's ready for body work now.